in regards to working out, mm-hmm. right, and mm-hmm. training for, um, you know, selection. And by selection, you mean, I mean special forces or ranger or seal selection. Yeah. That's what they're talking about here. Yeah. So, Jocko, what do you think of rucking as fitness versus just train up? So, for, for people that don't know what rucking is, rucking is putting a backpack on, a rucksack with a bunch of weight in it, and walking long distances. And, and to be honest with you, you really are jogging. You know, you're really going at a pretty good pace when you're doing it. And that's it as far as rucking goes. That's, that's what rucking it. is. Because, because in the military, mm-hmm. they can bring the pain with ruck mat marches. Forced road marches is what they're called. Yeah, you'd be rucking yeah, all up you, in the... You, you'll be rucking till you don't want to be rucking anymore. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> yeah. and so, you know, you'll do 20-mile force road march, which is just you're on the road with a 50-pound pack just marching, you know. Yeah. And uh, so th- the thing is, like anything else, if you want to get good at it, you got to do it, right? Mm-hmm. So if you want to get good at uh, people ask me, well, how do you do get, get, get good at pull-ups? You know, how do you get good at pull-ups? I'm yeah. like, do pull-ups. Mm-hmm. How do you get good at running? Run. How do you get at swimming? Swim. Mm-hmm. Oh, you want to know how to get good at jujitsu? Do jujitsu. Right. You know, get on the mat and do jujitsu a bunch. Yep. Uh, and if you want to get good at rucking, at humping a ruck, at carrying weight over long distances, ruck. Because right. there's all kinds of little things got to get used to. Your feet got to get prepared. Mm. You're going to get weird muscles. Your back's got to get stronger. You're going to get, you know, calluses all over your feet. It takes a special type of fitness regimen to get used to and ready for long ruck marches. And that special fitness regimen is rucking Mm. and lots of it. So uh, if you want to, eventually you can augment that, you know, you can start doing squats, you can start doing sprints and that'll help you, you know, that's fine. But the foundation of the preparation for ruck humping should be ruck humping and that's what's going to make you good at it. So, did you do that? I did. I did. And rucking for me actually, oddly enough, is something that I was I was good at. No. And it's weird mm-hmm. because I wasn't the fastest sprinter yeah. and I wasn't the best long distance runner, which what does that make you? Right. It makes you a loser. <laughs> right? Yeah, you dang. can't win a sprint and you can't run right. a long distance run. What's wrong with you? Yeah, you're kind of in the middle though. I was the, in the middle like you're and, strong and what I realized was that was good for carrying a rucksack. Yeah. And I I got used to it too because I was a radio man. So you always had a I always had to carry a freaking radio, you know? Yeah. Thirty pound radio with water and batteries and you're just it's always heavy. You're just sucking it up. And so yeah. I got used to it. I suppose it was that more than anything else. You're like um you ever seen the movie Tremors? No, I haven't Bacon. seen the movie Trevor. Right. Well, there was Bacon. a time at the end they were like, "Man, we need to we need to go to those mountains for those, you know, to to avoid the underground worms." And they were like, "Hey, we could take the cat." And he's like, "Hey, it's it's slow, you know." The cat is a big, uh, you know, the uh, bobcat. You know, those, I those actually know what things. a bobcat is. I'm not sure I know what underground worms. worms. Are. <laughs> that's something that's something completely different. But they're bad. So. They took the cat, and the guy, the guy was like, no, we can't take the cat slower than hell. And he's like, it doesn't, uh, it can carry a ton, though. It, you know, it was, mm-hmm. he was like you. You're mm-hmm. like the cat. So they hooked up this big trailer, which is the ruck in mm-hmm. your chest. And, you know, and they, and they drove everybody, um, you know, to the mountains. What were they planning to do, walk? No, they were trapped on, on roofs, on a rooftop. And they were like, we're all going to starve up here. We got to make it to the mountains. It's like nine miles. Okay. They're like, how are we gonna get there? We can't, you know, we can't run. They're gonna get us. We can't, you know. So they'll say, we, we'll get the cat. Got it. And they were like, oh, it's too slow. But they're like, yeah, but it can carry this big trailer. Yeah. You know. And I used to That's say it. that in the SEAL teams, and I, I don't know, my opinion was it was better to be built like a four by four than like a Porsche. Yeah. I mean, Why? it was better to be yeah, just because you got to carry weight around. Right. You got to right, be yeah. durable. You yeah. know, what would you rather have working on a farm? A uh, Ford. F three fifty or a Porsche. Yeah. I mean a Porsche is cool for the track when right. everything's all lined up and dialed the way it's supposed yeah, to be. Yeah. But you get any kind of terrain going on, you want that four before. And <laughs> you want it bad. <laughs> and so that's why, you know, yeah. the SEALs the the SEALs guys that were kind of more a four by four mm. than a Porsche. 
Yeah, so you would can be get better these. in the field in the real seal situations. Yeah, you know the re- the actual because the the thing about that's that's it's a, me- a misconception about the seal teams is you know you see guys running on the beach. Mm-hmm. And you see guys swimming in the ocean, and they never are carrying anything. Yeah, yeah. and that's just a complete lie. Because mm-hmm. every time you do anything in the SEAL teams, you're carrying a ton of weight with you. Yeah, and so you got to be built like a four by four and not like a Porsche. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. So yeah, you'd way rather someone like you than some sprinter who can run like a four two forty. But then you put some, you know, something on his back. A sprinter is actually, you, you know, what you you just want somebody that's durable. Yeah, durable is the word. Yeah. And if they're a great athlete and they can have an awesome 40 time or they can run a marathon, but they're just durable, it's awesome. Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah. not trying to Makes put parameters sense. around the guys. Sure. Because yeah. there's guys. There was a guy when I was at Team 2, and he was a guy I actually went through buds with, and he was He's he's kind of a short guy, mm. and he was kind of had an odd body shape (laughs) and so he kind of looked he kind of had almost like a little pudgy belly Mm. and uh he just was one of those guys and the funny thing is he could run faster than me and he could bench more than me yeah no (laughs) kidding it was awesome (laughs) i love that yeah Yeah. he's an awesome guy awesome guy i said you know that's cool people say that about him because he's a little bit short and a little bit pouty looking I'm like he can he can actually bench more than me and he can run faster than me. He can beat me in all the runs. Yeah, so yeah. let's just be quiet here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>